help athletes feel, recover, and perform. Uh, both of these teams' second game of the season coming up here tonight. Uh, the uh, Carroll Tigers opened up uh, last week against uh, Webster City. Looked really, really sharp, picking up a 58-23 to victory. Got uh, really a lot of very good performances. Uh, Madison Tuning had a big night. Josie Ayala, 18 points, 9 rebounds. Shea Sinard had 7 points. Caitlin Aiden had 9 points to go with 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Hannah Jorgensen with 7 points. The Kemper Knights, they opened up uh, last week as well as they took on Bondurant Ferrar, a high-ranked team in Class 3A. They took them on on the road and ended up falling 70 to 35. Catherine Mayhall, a big night for them that night with a 12 points, 8 rebounds. Cora Thompson played well as well with 8 points and 6 rebounds. And Franny Glenn finished up with 10 points and 7 rebounds. So Tigers going to come out tonight. They're going to want to get the tempo up and down. They're going to want to create turnovers. So they want to, you know, get Kemper running and uh, playing a little faster than what they want. Kemper's going to want to slow things down. Uh, they've got some pretty good inside players with Franny Glenn and Lauren Bell, uh, and that goes along with the outstanding guard they have in Catherine Mayhall. So they're going to want to have to slow things down a little bit. For Kemper, they're going to have to give Mayhall a little bit of help, I think, in this one. Because of the pressure, somebody else is going to have to help her bring the ball up. Otherwise, she may wear down as this game goes on here this evening. But it should be a fun one here tonight. Appreciate everybody tuning in uh, for our basketball action. Don't forget, I'm trying to run camera right now and run the radio, so hopefully we'll get that taken care of here shortly. But uh, we are bringing you live video tonight with our audio. If you go to uh, YouTube and search uh, Carol Broadcasting or 1380 KCIM, you can follow uh, that YouTube page, and uh, we'll have live video with the audio for you here tonight. Scoreboard on that and everything, and that is powered by New Way Forward in Coon Rapids. Let's take a look. At our starting lineups here tonight, first of all, for the Kemper Knights, they come in 0-1 on the season. Uh, again, under head coach Tyler Tryon, they'll be back in action. Coming up on Saturday, I'll have the broadcast as they host Dennis and Slashwick. Uh, they're going to be starting a 5'6 junior in Catherine Mayhall, a 5'6 senior in Cora Thompson, a 5'9 freshman in Carson Overmull, a 5'9 sophomore in Lauren Bell, and a 5'10 sophomore in Franny Glenn. For the Carroll Tigers coming in 1-0 on the season under head coach uh, Katie Cook. Uh, they defeated Webster City 58-23. They'll be in action on Friday down at Gilbert. Nick Brinks will have that broadcast for you. Tigers won this matchup 61-43 a year ago. Now, uh, again, they won the JV game earlier tonight, 68-18. For the Tigers starting lineup tonight, it'll be the 5'9 senior in Hannah Jorgensen, the 5'9 freshman in Caitlin Aiden, the 5'10 senior in Josie Ayala, the 5'5 junior in Shea Sinard, and the 5'7 junior in Madison Tuning. That is a look at our starting lineup here tonight. We'll step away take a break. You've been listening to the Mackey Motors pregame right here on 93.7 KKRL. Mackey Motors. At New Way Ford in Coon Rapids and New Way Auto in Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your New Way vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Trees company. People want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges, whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1933. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, 
Theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors, 920 Roof Pro. Back here on at 93.7 at KKRL, coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages in Carroll. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Jeff Blackman with you here tonight. Got Pete Collison over here to my left. He is running the video broadcast for you tonight. Again, check that out. It is sponsored by or powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids. You can go to YouTube and simply search Carol Broadcasting, and uh, you'll be able to pick up and watch and uh, listen to the matchup here tonight. And again, we do have the girls' game, then we'll cut away from the video and we'll start up the boys' game on the video shortly before the boys' game gets underway here tonight. Kemper in their traveling red uniforms. They've got the yellow numbers with the yellow Kemper on the front and yellow numbers on the back, some yellow stripes on the stripes on the side for the Carroll Tigers. Home white uniforms here tonight. The orange Carroll and orange numbers on the front and their white pants and shorts as well. Carroll going to win the opening tip-off. Hannah Jorgensen's layup is up no good, but a whistle and a foul. And quickly a foul goes on at Carson Overmall, the 5'9 freshman for the Kemper Knights. That'll be her first and the team's first. And to put a very good free throw shooter and Hannah Jorgensen at the free throw line. Jorgensen coming into tonight, uh, shooting 75% from the line on the season, and her first free throw is up and good. And the Tigers have the first lead here this evening. Second free throw on the way from Jorgensen. This one in and out, no good. There's Josie Aiella, the offensive rebound. Put back, no good. Ball going to bound, not a bounds. It'll be the last touch by the Tigers, and it will be night basketball. Early on in this one, 7.53 remaining. Carroll comes out with some pressure. Mayhall looks to split the double team, picks up the dribble. Now gets it over to Corey Thompson. Near steal by Carroll. Ahead now to Overmall. Underneath the Glenn, tipped away by Aiden. Tipped out into the hands that time. And the shot is up and no good from Bell. And that we're going to get a ball out of bounds. It'll be last touch by Kemper, and it will be Carroll basketball. Pressure now by Catherine Mayhall. She is defending Caitlin Aiden. As Hannah Jorgensen will bring it up. Knight's going to drop back, and they... Looks like a box in one. Jorgensen dribbles over to the left side, gets it down on the baseline to Tunic, or to Sennard, excuse me, back to Jorgensen, back over now to Sennard. Sennard with it back to Jorgensen. Bounce pass inside now to Tuning on the block, back outside to Jorgensen, over to the right elbow, bounce pass down to the right baseline to Ayala. Back up to Jorgensen, left side to Sennard, inside to Tuning, shot is up, no good. Rebound taken down by Ayala, put back up, no good. Rebound tipped around and corralled by Cora Thompson. Knights will bring it up with Mayhall up the left side of the floor. She's picked up by Jorgensen as the Tigers go man-to-man -to, -man to open things up. Pen dribble penetration by Overmall. Shot is up no good. Gets her own rebound. Kicks it out top. It's stolen away by Jorgensen. Jorgensen nearly had it knocked away and does. Tuning will pick it up. Gets it back to Jorgensen. one nothing. Carroll. 6.45 left here in the first quarter. Eight and up top. Crosses over to the left side. Now switches back to the right. Got kind of... Mishandled the ball for a moment. Finds Jorgensen open right corner three. It is up off the rim a couple of times. No good. And the rebound taken down by Franny Glynn for Kemper. Off now to Mayhall. Tigers drop back defensively. They work it over to Overmull on the right wing. Back up now to Mayhall. Picked up there by Jorgensen. Dribbles over. Kick pass over to the right side. Overmull up top to Glynn. Glynn down the right side. Penetrates in. Running layup. It's up in good for Franny Glynn. First bucket here tonight uh, for the Kemper Knights, and they have their first lead of the ballgame as they lead it by a score of 2-1. to one. Tigers quickly get it down floor. Jorgensen up top to Aiden. Aiden with it. Down on the right block to Tuning. Finds Ayala under the basket. The layup's up and good. Tuning with the assist. Ayala with her first bucket here tonight, and Carroll back on top. Now we've got a near steal underneath. Mayhall comes up with her. Thompson does. We're going to get a reach-in foul. Going to go on the Carroll Tigers. A foul going to go on Madison Tuning of Carroll. The 5'7 junior picks up her first, number one on the Tigers. Inbounds comes to Mayhall. Now off to Overmull, over to Bell. Bell dribbles down, pull up jumper. It is up and good off of the glass. So Lauren Bell, the 5'9 sophomore with her first bucket. And it's a 4-3 a lead. In favor of the Kemper Knights, our third lead change here early on. Tigers penetrate in. Sennard has it shot blocked by Glenn. Rebound taken down that time up by Overmull. Her second of the game off to Mayhall. 5.20 left first quarter, 4-3 Kemper. Glenn with it up top. Franny. And then by 
Ayala gets it off now to Bell, to Overmull, driving in, and Overmull going to be bumped in foul. That'll go on the Tigers. That'll be team foul number two, number one, on the 5'9 freshman, Caitlin Aiden. Kemper will box it up around the lane. They'll look to inbound it here with Overmull. They get it into Mayhall on the right side. Rolls down to the baseline. Knocked away by Aiden into the hands of Overmull. But Aiden comes up with it. Her first steal. Second of the night for the Tigers. Ahead to Ayala. Layups up and good on the other end. And the Tigers back on top now by a score of 5-4. to four. Aiden came up with the steal. Also got the assist that time. Ayala with her second bucket. Overmull now dribbles in. Bounce pass underneath to Glenn. Layups up and good. We keep going back in fourth in this one. As Kemper grabs the lead back here at 6-5. Overmull picking up her first assist of the night. First bucket, second bucket, I should say, for Glenn. Long three from the left side up in good now from Shea Sennard. And the Carroll Tigers back up now by a score of 8-6. to six. Sennard capable of knocking down that three. Bell brings it up, gets it to Overmull, kick pass out to Glenn, left side, a runner off the left side of the lane, up no good. Ayala comes up with the rebound for the Tigers, her third, ahead to Aiden, now off to Jorgensen, penetrates in left side, kicks it back out to Aiden, pump fake, gets near the left elbow, pull up jumper on the way up and good for the freshman. Caitlin Aiden extends the Carroll lead to 10-6. That's their largest lead so far. Overmull with it, feeds it down to Lauren Bell, ball is loose, coming up with it is Aiden. Aiden throws the ball away, coming up with the steal is Cora Thompson. Thompson over to Mayhall. Three on the way, left side up, no good. And the rebound to Jorgensen for Carroll. Jorgensen now brings it up, takes over on the Tiger. And the word Tigers over there on that right side near the Carroll parent section. Now to Aiden, penetrates in the lane, runner up, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Kemper. It will be Carroll basketball. Cam Shabel, Ava Gross, and also... Addison Clucky checking in for the Tigers. Aubrey Hewton going to check in for the Kemper Knights. Ayala tuning Sennard at checkout. Also checking out is Carson Overmole for Kemper. Jorgensen to inbound at the end of the Kemper bench. Nearly stolen that time by Mayhall. Gets it up top to Aiden. Aiden will back it out. Picks up the drill ball. Tipped by Mayhall. Coming up though with it is Shabel. Down to the left side. And that ball going to be tipped out of bounds by Hewton. It'll stay with the Tigers. 3.24 left first quarter. Motor and player of the game coming up following the ball game tonight. Motor and of carry your premier to it is Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to service to parts in collision. Shot up no good by Jorgensen. Rebound tipped into the hands that time of Lauren Bell, her first. Bell brings it up, gets it off now to Cora Thompson. Thompson up top over to Mayhall. Mayhall defended by Jorgensen. Two really quick, great athletes. Runner in the lane by Mayhall, no good. Mayhall gets her own rebound. Put back up, no good. And Shabo will clear it for the Tigers. Long pass down, Ava Gross, eight-footer on the way up in good. So Gross picks up the bucket, her first here tonight. Ava, 5'7", junior. Tigers lead it by six at 12-6. Ball over the head that time of the Tigers, excuse me, of the Knights. Anderson Clucky coming up with the steal. Jumper off the right side, no good from Gross. Aiden comes up with the rebound. She'll be fouled on the play, and she'll head to the free throw line for two. And foul going to go on Catherine Mayhall. The 5'6", junior, picks up her first. Team foul number two on the night. Aiden at the free throw line, 75% on the season. The first one up, no good. Tigers one and two at the line as a team. Bell will check out. Casey Peter checks in for the Kimber Knights. Peter, of course, a 5'10 sophomore. Free throw on the way. It is up and good for Caitlin Aiden. She goes one and two on that trip. And the Tigers lead it here by seven. Quickly up the floor. The Knights get it inside to Glenn. Shot up no good. Battle for the rebound. And we're going to get a jump ball. Granny Glenn getting right back in there to fight for that one. And battling that time with Ava Gross. The jump ball possession there will favor Kemper. Knights are going to put two in the lane stacked. One in each corner. Cora Thompson going to inbound it. 2.33 left. They get it into Glenn. Flat-footed shot up. No good. Rebound batted around. Casey Peter comes up with it. Kicks it off now to Thompson. She'll drive in. Her layup up. No good. Peter with another rebound. And this time the putback is up in good for Casey Peter. And now we're going to get a timeout called by the Carroll Tengers. Coach Katie Cook. Not happy with what she saw there. We're going to step away. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more at Carroll and Kemper basketball. That's coming up for you in 30 seconds right here on KKRL. 
Family owned and operated since 1948, Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll. Welcome you back here on 93.7 at KKRL. Jeff Blankman with you here tonight as we bring you Carol and Kimber basketball doubleheader for you. Pete Collison running our video right now. And a Jorgensen nearly had it stolen by Cora Thompson up top to Shabel. Shabel over the right side to Jorgensen. Jorgensen kicks it left side now to Gross. Down to the baseline. Shabel open for three. It is up and good. <laughs> Ava Gross picks up the assist. Cam Shabel with her first points tonight and this season. The Knights lead it. 16-8. That was a good set called that time by Katie Cook. Jorgensen tips the pass into the hands of a Glenn. Now to Peter. Right elbow jumper. It's a blocked by Aiden. Battle for the rebound. Going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Franny Glenn. Her and Jorgensen were battling for it. And it'll be Carol Tiger basketball. Aiden going to bring it up. Gets it up across half court. Pulls up, left side of the top of the key three on the way. It's up no good. A rebound taken down that time but by Franny Glenn. Glenn with her second rebound here tonight. They find a Hewton down in the left corner. Paige penetrates in on the baseline. Going to be bumped in, fouled by Ava Gross. That'll be number one on Gross. And team foul number three against the Tigers. Knight's going to put four out near the 10-foot line on the volleyball floor as Tuning and Sonar check in. Jorgensen and Aiden will check out for the Tigers. Cora Thompson will inbound for the Knights. Crowd continuing to kind of file in. Always a little bit smaller at the beginning of the girls' game. Thompson lobs it in, gets it into Hewton. Hewton with it will back it out in the half-court circle. Picked up there by Gross. They get it now to Casey Peter. Double teamed on the block. Out to Glenn. Free throw jumper. It's up and good. Peter will pick up the assist for Annie Glenn. Six points already for her here tonight. 16-10, Shable feeling it from outside. Three is up, no good. Casey Peter comes down with the rebound and picking up the foul, trying to clash and follow her own shot was Cam Shable that time. She'll pick up her first, and that is going to be the fourth at team foul against the Tigers. She was trying to crash the board and follow her own shot. Shable will check out. Ayala checks back in. Catherine Mayhall will bring it up across half court, jogs it over to the left side. Mayhall picked up out there by Sonar, two great athletes, fun, fun kids. Mayhall's three partially blocked that time by Sonard. Rebound tipped, it's loose on the floor, going to be batted out of bounds. Last touch by the Tigers, it'll be off of the foot of Ava Gross, and it is going to be a Kemper basketball. 16-10, Tigers with the lead. 4.47 left first quarter. Thompson looking to inbound. Lob pass up top. Gets it to Hewton. Right elbow jumper on the way. It is up no good. Rebound taken down again by Casey Peter. Her fourth. And now we're going to get a travel on the, the night. Peter traveling with the basketball. And I think of Aubrey Hewton. It makes me think of her. I think it's her aunt, Heather Wittrock. She was an outstanding player for Kemper back in her day. I was early in my career here in Carroll, but certainly remember how athletic and how good of a player she was in a lot of different sports. Ayala gets it down to the corner to Ava Gross, up top now to Sennard. Sennard drives in, bounces off that Hewton that time. We're going to get a whistle and a foul as Sennard goes to the floor. Shea, one of those kids that just plays hard and she'll sacrifice her body uh, to try and make a play as Cora Thompson picks up the foul. That's her first and the team's third. Tuning looking to get it in. Bounds gets it in the clucky right elbow jumper just outside that elbow. It's up no good for Annie Glenn. Comes down with her third rebound. Off now to Mayhall. Mayhall up the floor. Nice little hesitation move. Started left, came back right, draws the foul and gets the basket. And the foul going to go on Jason Hart. That is Catherine Mayhall right there, folks. Hopefully you were watching that one on the video. This young lady is a special basketball player. Overmall checks back in now for Thompson. There isn't anything that Catherine Mayhall doesn't do well on the basketball court. Shoots it well from inside, outside, rebounds, throws assist, but did miss that free throw. She was a 50% free throw shooter last season. Tuning will bring it up. Madison brings it down right side, inside to Clucky. Nice kick out pass. Gross open for three. Shot up. Good. 
Addison Clocky found Ava Gross right before the buzzer, and the Tigers are going to lead it at 19 to 12 as we come to the end of the first quarter. We'll step away, take a break. We've got uh, the second quarter that's coming up for you in one minute right here on 93.7 KKRL. Brinks Exteriors is proud. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team. Because together, everyone achieves more. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student-athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Ginson with the Tigers with the ball to start the second quarter. Madison Tuning now right side top of the key, picked up by Overhaul. Pick and roll to Ayala, baseline jumper up in it. Good for Ayala. Ayala with the bucket. Tigers will lead it here by at 9 at 21 to 12. That's their largest lead. Now Ayala comes up with the steal. Fifth steal of the night for the Tigers. Aiden will bring it up, gets it underneath to Tuning. Or to Jorgensen now out to Sennard, back out to Aiden. Aiden over to the left side to Tuning. Tuning up top to Sennard. Sennard with a basketball, penetrates in, got around Overmold, drives in the lane. Foul going to be by Franny Glenn. Sennard that time in the year crashed with Ayala. Those two both went to the floor, but both of them are okay. The foul on Franny Glenn's going to be her first team foul number four on the night. And Jay Sennard will head to the free throw line. First free throw attempts for her this season. Free throw on the way. It is up and good. Shea's such a good shooter. You knew she'd be a good free throw shooter as well. 22-12 now in favor of the Tigers, their largest lead here in the game. Second free throw up, good as well. Tigers extend the lead here to 23-12. Carroll is now four of five from the free throw line. Quickly down the floor for Andy Glenn's runner up, no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of eight. Aiden will bring it up, crossover dribble, got around Mayhall. Works it over now to Chenard, inside it to Ayala on the block, turnaround jumper off the baseline, no good. Good defense that time by Glenn. And Overmole will come up with a rebound, her third. Mayhall ahead to Thompson, left side. Cora penetrates in, kick pass out now. And we're going to get a travel call. I think that's going to go on Lauren Bell from the Kemper Knights. Caught it down there in that corner and just didn't get that dribble down before she picked up that pivot foot. 23-12, Carroll with the lead. Jorgensen will bring it up off to Ayala, right side on that right elbow. Now it hits the cutter, Jorgensen, who kicks it back out to Sennard, left side. Now off to Tuning. Tuning penetrates right elbow, pull-up jumper. It's up no good. Ayala saves it. And it's going to be into the hands that time of Lauren Bell. Bell will push it up right side for the ninth. Picked up by Jorgensen. Now off to Glenn, who gets it to Mayhall. Left side, top of the key to Thompson. Thompson with it. Skip pass over to Bell on the right side. 17-footer on the way up. No good. Battle for the rebound. It's a loose. Got players all over on the floor, and Mayhall goes down and gets it. Had four players down there. Mayhall came up with it. Bell gets it off to Mayhall. She'll drive in. Runner up off the glass. No good. Aiden going to come up with a rebound. Three rebounds tonight for the freshman ahead. Sennar drives in, draws some contact. Will get herself back to the free throw line. That foul, I think, going to go on Lauren Bell. And that is going to be the call. That will be number one on Bell. Sennar, two of two at the line. Heads back to shoot two more. Fouled in the active shooting. Team foul number five on the Knights. And the first one up, no good for the 5'5 five five junior. 6.01 left here in this first half. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. Sennard misses both of the free throws. Rebound tipped into the hands of Aiden and her baseline jumper. It's a two. It's up and good. Caitlin Aiden with her second bucket. 
Knights lead it here 25 to 12, and now we've got a steal by Josie Ayala on the feed inside looking for Glenn. Aiden will bring it up, kicks it over now to Tuning. Tuning off to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, bounce pass inside, knocked away. Coming out of there with it is Mayhall. Ball was knocked away that time by Overmall. Mayhall brings it up, finds Corey Thompson left side. Thompson with it, looking for some help. Now looks to dribble. Kick pass over the head of Overmall and out of bounds. Tried to lob it to her and lobbed it over her head and Overmall was down in the corner. So when it got over her head, it ended up out of bounds. Tigers will have it, 5.23 left in the first half of play. 25-12 in favor of it, Carroll. Aiden with it, gets it off now to Tuning. Tuning over to the left side, it's a Sennard. Sennard picked up by Bell, gets it up top to Jorgensen. Jorgensen dribbles over to the right side, runner on the way up, but no good. And the rebound taken down by Carson Overmall. The freshman's got four boards here tonight for Kemper. Mayhall will bring it up, picked up by Jorgensen. They double teamed at that time, the player without the ball, and that was Lauren Bell. They jumped out to double team her on the fake screen, and Mayhall gets to the rim, lays it up and in. And we're going to have a timeout on the court. 25-14, Carroll with the lead. We'll step away. We're back in 30 seconds right here on 93.7 KKRL. Family owned and operated since 1948. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in health care, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. We welcome you back here on 93.7 at KKRL. Jeff Blankman with you here. I already did that, Pete. <laughs> We appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight. Carol Tigers right now leading by 11 over Kemper in this girls game, 25 to 14. Tigers and Knights bounced back and forth early in this game. Kemper lot up 2-1. Carol then went up 3-2. Then Kemper 4-3. Carol up 5-4. Kemper up 6-5. And then a big three. Put the Carroll Tigers up 8-6. And they extended that lead. The largest lead so far has been 13 at 25-12. Tigers have it with Ava Gross down in the left corner. They kick it up now to Tuning. She'll penetrate in. Runner, it's up no good. Clocky tips the rebound out. It'll be tracked down by Mayhall, her third. Mayhall dribbles it up the floor. Now goes over to the left side. Picked up there by Sennard. Mayhall will bring it up. Feeds it off now to Balbrell to the left elbow. Out top, Overmull, right side top of the key three. It's up no good. Rebound tipped out and controlled by Ava Gross. Gross off to Tuning, ahead. Sinar drives in, a shot up, no good. Foul either going to go on Franny Glenn or Bell, and I think that one may go on Glenn. And that is going to be the call, so that is going to be number two on Franny Glenn. Can't afford to get her in foul trouble if you're the Kemper Knights. Sinard back at the line, two of four tonight. First free throw is up and good. Carroll's lead is back to 12. Hewton will check in. Peter also checks back in for the Tigers. Glenn checks out. Free throw by Sennard up no good. Offensive rebound, Cam Shabel put back his up and good for Shabel. 28-14 Tigers. Shabel with her second board, her second bucket versus two point bucket tonight. She's got five and now the Knights in some trouble. They get it ahead, though, to Overmull. Nice bounce pass underneath. Peters layup up, up, no good. A rebound tipped around into the hands of Mayhall, and now we're going to get a reach-in foul on Maddie Tuning. That'll be two on Tuning. Team foul number six on the Tigers here in the half. That'll get handed Jorgensen in for Madison Tuning. Knights will inbound the basketball on the right side on the baseline. They'll lob it up top to Mayhaw. Just goes up over Sennard. Pull-up jumper from the left elbow. A little short, but tracks down her own rebound. Now pull-up jumper off the right side. A little out of control that time. Shabel will pick up the rebound. That is her fourth. Ahead to Jorgensen. Runs it down the floor. Layup on the other end up no good. But a whistle and a foul. Going to go on Kemper. 
That one's probably on Carson Overmull. No, gonna go put it on Cora Thompson. That'll be number two on Thompson. So Hannah Jorgensen at the line. Uh, Carroll's done a nice job getting to the free throw line here tonight, not shooting them as well as I'm sure Coach Cook would like. First one by Jorgensen is up in good. She is two of two at the line. Carroll right now, six of 10 from the free throw line. Second free throw coming up as the Tigers beginning to pull away a little bit here. It's up and good for Jorgensen. All three of her points have come from the free throw line. And the Tigers lead it here at 30 to 14. Thompson with it. Jorgensen trying to come up from behind for the steal, but they'll feed it to Peter. Jumper off the right side, no good. Offensive rebound, put back from Hewton is up in good. Nice tough rebound down on that left block for the 5'10 sophomore, able to put it up and in. And the Knights cut that deficit to 30 to 16. Sennard with it over on the left side, inside to Clucky. Turnaround jumper in the lane, spins in and out, no good. Casey Peter will come up with her fifth rebound. Over to Mayhall. Mayhall pushes it up, penetrates it down. Kick pass now out to Overmull, or excuse me, to Hewton. Now off to Thompson. Thompson gets it out to Derrickson. Off to Mayhall. Mayhall penetrates in, running a right-hander off the left side, no good. Shable with her fifth rebound. Off to Jorgensen, pushes it ahead. 2.40 left here in the half. 30 to 16, Gross off the offensive rebound, put back, no good. Casey Peter clears another one for the Kemper Knights. Peter's done an outstanding job on the backboards here in this first half. Thompson with it over on the right side, picked up by Sinard. Skip pass now over to Hewton. Three-point shot on the way up. No good in the rebound to Sennard. Sennard on the run, pushes it all the way down, gets around the defense, left-handed layup. In and out, no good, and a block call going to go against Hewton. That'll be number one on the 5'10 sophomore. Team foul number eight against Kemper. Two shots coming up here for Sennard. Shea, three of six at the free throw line tonight. Free throw on the way, bounces around the rim and falls out for Shea Sennard. Ayala in for Clucky. Glenn Overmull in. Hewton and Peter will check out for Kemper. Caitlin Aiden will check in for Sennard if she makes this free throw. 2.13 left here in the half. Free throw is up and good. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. 31-16 in favor of Carroll. Largest lead again here has been 16 at 30 to 14. Tigers with some three-quarter court pressure. Mayhall lobs it over to Thompson. Thompson back over to Mayhall. Mayhall long pass down, dangerous one, nearly stolen away. Ayala tipped it, and it ends up going out of bounds off of Kaylee Derrickson. Good hustle by Ayala, anticipating that passing lane and able to get over there and jump that passing lane. Bell now going to check in for Derrickson. 2.04 left here at first half. Coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Caitlin Aiden gets it down to the corner. Left side three from Jorgensen up no good. Mayhaw clears the rebound up for Carroll High. Long pass down off the fingertips of Bell and unable to save it. It'll be out of bounds to the Carroll Tigers. Quick shout out to New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, sponsoring sports on the go with me. The New Way Ford feature vehicles, the 2018 Ford Expedition. It's an SUV, four-wheel drive, 95,000 miles. Call 800-861-7268 for more details. Sports on the go with me, Jeff Blankman, powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, home of warranty forever, and your home for free oil changes for life. Lauren Bell comes up with the steal, fourth of the night for the Knights, her first. Corey Thompson open for three, it's up and good. The senior drains her first shot of the night from out there. 31-19 now in favor of Carroll. Jorgensen with it. Penetrates in on the right side, runner off the glass, a little strong. Bell comes down with a rebound, her second. Off now to Mayhaw. Knight's got a chance here to cut this down to single digits before half. That would be big for him. Aiden tips it away from Overmull. Overmull will get it back near half court, feeds it over to Thompson. Thompson penetrates in, looking for some help. Back out to Overmull, three on the way up, no good. Ayala will clear the rebound up for the Tigers. Quickly down floor comes Jorgensen. Shot up over Overmull. No good, but a whistle and a foul. Going to go against Carson Overmull. That is going to be number two on the 5'9 freshman. And Hannah Jorgensen will head to the line to shoot up here. Team number, foul number nine against the Knights. First free throw from Hannah. It's up in good. 
Anna doing a really good job of getting herself to the free throw line here tonight, and that's really important as she is such a great free throw shooter. Second one on the way up, good as well. Five points tonight, all of them from the free throw line for her. Tigers lead it here, 33-19. Mayhall with it. Looking to get up across half court. Double team that time by Mayhall and Aiden. Now off to Thompson, and we are going to get a 10-second call. Going to go against the Kemper Knights. 37.5 seconds left here in this first half. Tigers get it in the hand of Jorgensen. We'll see if they hold for the final shot, unless they can get an easy bucket. Jorgensen looking to penetrate. Bounces it off now to Ayala, and Ayala will travel with the basketball. Josie wanted to catch and go up for the shot that time. The defense surrounded her and didn't have a chance to be able to put down a dribble. They probably would have stole it away from her if she did, so she ends up traveling with it. And a ball bounce out on the floor, and they run it over to the crowd here real quick. Mayhall looking to bring it up. Lobs it ahead now to Bell. Bell bounces it over now to Thompson. Knocked away. Thompson gets it back down to the baseline to Overmole. Overmole drives in. Kick pass over to Glenn left side. Now to Mayhall. Mayhall going to fire up a three. It is short. Overmole tries to save it. Unable to do so. It'll be out of bounds to the Tigers with 8.5 seconds remaining. Inbounds to Aiden. And we're going to get it here. Carroll wasn't set here. The officials weren't ready to go. And not all of them. So Shabel gets it into Jorgensen. Six seconds left. Jorgensen picked up by Overmull. Comes off a screen. Right elbow floater up. Good. One second left. That'll do it for the first half. Carroll Tigers will lead it 35 to 19 as the first half comes to an end. We will step away, take a break. Our Roselle Mutual Halftime Report. It's coming up next for you right here on 93.7 KKRL. Is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual proudly insuring the area since 1876. This is Iowa, and Avala Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avala Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avala Bank, member FDIC. The door to rewarding career opportunities is closer than you think. All you have to do is open it. DMAX Carroll Campus is your gateway to in-demand rewarding careers. You can even earn a four-year degree on campus thanks to a partnership with UNI and Buena Vista University. It's all waiting for you at the DMAC Carroll Campus. So open the door to a better life at DMAC in Carroll today. DMAC, life's calling. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is JP Flooring. I was looking to replace the floor in a couple rooms at home. It can be super overwhelming with all of the options available. I popped by JP Flooring and was super surprised and impressed with the showroom and selection. I had no idea how extensive their product lines were. They have a designer on staff that helped me narrow down what I was looking for. When you change your floors, it changes the whole character of a room. I used their product visualizer and could literally see in advance what the styles would look like in my room. I totally recommend JP Flooring in Carroll. Family owned and operated since 1948, Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It, Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll.
Family owned and operated since 1948. Family owned and operated since 1948. Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll. Tonight, a Motor Inn of Carroll, your premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to service to parts and collision. That uh, was a, a really tight game early on, uh, the big three-point shot early in the game uh, from Shea Sennard kind of gave the uh, Carroll Tigers the momentum. Um, Kemper uh, and Carroll bounced back and forth. We had six lead changes uh, in the first uh, couple of uh, moments of this game, all the way up till the Tigers went up eight to six. Carroll then kind of slowly started extending that. Uh, their defensive pressure has really caused some problems for Kemper uh, getting their offense going. Um, not that the Knights haven't gotten shots. It's typical early season. Both teams struggling from the field a little bit. There was one series um, down on this end here in front of me where uh, Kemper got quite a few offensive rebounds and uh, you can tell Katie Cook, the head coach for the Tigers, not happy with that, quickly called a timeout. I thought for the most part, um, Carroll controlled the boards fairly well. Uh, Casey Peter, uh, Catherine Mayhall, for Andy Glenn and Carson Overmall have rebounded the ball well here tonight uh, for Kemper, but um, the Tigers with their defense. They've created seven steals so far. Um, Kemper right now with double digits and turnovers here in the first half. Uh, that has allowed the Tigers uh, to kind of get out on the break. They don't have to run that half-court offense as much. I, I like what they've done. They've set some screens, been able to get some dribble penetration, at times getting a little bit too deep maybe down inside, uh, which has made things a little bit tougher for them um, when they get down inside because of the length of some of the Kemper players. But the Tigers have done a good job of getting to the free throw line. They have outshot Kemper by 14 free throws here in the first half. And credit Hannah Jorgensen, credit Shea Sennard um, defensively, and Ava Gross as well. They've done a really nice job on uh, Catherine Mayhall. And Catherine's one of those players that can go off for 20 or 30 uh, on a given night. She's that kind of an offensive player. They have held her to four here in the first half. So uh, a really good defensive job here early on for the uh, Carroll Dengers. We are going to step away. We're going to take a three-minute timeout. Uh, we'll be back with uh, a look at our first half numbers. You're listening to the Roselle Mutual Halftime Report right here on 93.7 KKRL. Family owned and operated since 19... Not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Midwest Wholesale is your local building products headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors 920 Roof Pro. Working as a team to achieve success is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual proudly insuring the area since 1876.
Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way at lawn and garden equipment with great products from Exmark, Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory trained technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your Newey vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. Uh, coming here on 93.7 KKRL. Again, at Roselle Mutual Insurance, a, a proud sponsor of it tonight's halftime. Roselle Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop adults that will be our future community leaders. Adults uh, also, uh, they are your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Give them a call, 712-792-4525. Quick look at our numbers here in the first half. Again, unofficially here, Catherine Mayhall, four points, five rebounds, two steals. Cora Thompson, three points, a rebound, and a steal. Carson Overmall, four rebounds and an assist. Lauren Bell, two points to go with two rebounds and a steal. Franny Glenn, six points, three rebounds. Uh, Casey Peter, two points to go with six rebounds and an assist. And Aubrey Hewton with uh, two points and a rebound. The uh, Knights 0 of 1 from the free throw line. For the Carroll Tigers, Hannah Jorgensen, seven points, a rebound and a steal. Caitlin Aiden, five points, four rebounds, two assists, three steals. Josie Ayala, five points, four rebounds, two uh, steals. Uh, Madison Tunick uh, has got... Uh, Two assists, uh, Shea Sennard with seven points to go with a rebound. Cam Shabel has got, uh, let's see here, five points to go with five rebounds. Ava Gross has scored five points uh, to go with two rebounds and an assist. And Addison Clocky with an assist in the Steel Tigers, 10 of 15 from the free throw line. Thanks for tuning in here tonight, to get, of course, to our Roselle Mutual Halftime Report. Anna Jorgensen going to pick up the foul for the Carroll Tigers, trying to steal it from Mayhall on that inbound pass, and that'll be her first and the team's first. Quick shout-out to New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, sponsoring sports on the go with me, giving me a vehicle to drive to all the different sporting events I've been covering over the last year. The New Way Ford feature vehicle, a 2018 Ford Expedition SUV, 95,000 miles. It's a four-wheel drive. Call 800-861-7268 for more details. Shea Sennard with the steal and the bucket, and the time Tigers extend that lead here to start at this second half of play. Tigers now up at 37 to 19, and now we're going to get Franny Glenn after pressure by Carroll stepping on the baseline. The turnover will give it back over to the Tigers. You can also check out a picture of that new way forward feature vehicle on the Carroll Broadcasting website at 1380kcim.com. Sports on the go with me, Jeff Blankman, powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, home of warranty forever and your home for free oil changes for life. Aiden gets it off to tuning, cuts through now on the baseline, nearly stolen away that time by Overmull. Tuning gets it up top to Sennard. Knights have gone into a one at now staying in the box and one here with Mayhall on Aiden. Jorgensen will drive in, kicks it underneath Ayala, and her layup is up in good. Ayala now with eight on the night. Jorgensen with the assist. Tigers' lead is at 20 at 39 to 19. Corey Thompson with it ahead now to Bell. Bell picked up by Ayala over to Overmall left side. Overmall defended up by Jorgensen. Tigers stay man-to-man -man inside to Glenn. Shot up good. Count the basket. No whistle and a foul. Going to go on Madison Tuning. That is number three on her. And that is a mismatch height-wise and strength-wise uh, if you can get Franny Glenn defended down on the block by Maddie Tuning. Maddie's a great kid and an outstanding athlete, but Franny's stronger and taller. As Glenn knocks down the free throw. If I'm Kemper and I can get that matchup, that's the one I try to go to frequently here in this second half. Jorgensen with it, down to Tuning. And if I'm Tuning, I try to pull Glenn out. Now Franny jumps the passing lane, comes up with a steal as they were trying to feed it inside to Ayala. So Glenn with her first steal. Thompson with it out high left side, up top to the right side now to Bell, over to the right wing to Mayhall. Mayhall penetrates in on Jorgensen. 
Kick pass out now to Overmull. Overmull kicks it back out to Mayhall. Mayhall to the free throw line. Good defense again by Jorgensen. Now off to Thompson. Thompson drives in, dumps it underneath the Glenn. Shot blocked by Aiden. Glenn gets a rebound, misses the putback, goes back up with it. Shot up no good. A rebound tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Kemper, they're going to say, and it will be at Carroll Basketball. So Glenn picking up a couple of offensive rebounds there, but not able to get it back in. Cam Shable checking in now for Madison Tunick. Bringing it up as Jorgensen gets around Overmall. Runner in the lane up no good. Rebound tipped by Ayala. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by the Tigers. It'll be night basketball. 6.03 left here in this third quarter. Want to thank Mason Voigt. He's over here running our video broadcast now. It's powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids. Bell defended by Shable way out high on the right side. Now tries to find Thompson. Ball stolen away by Sennard. Sennard out on the break. Works it into the lane. Kicks it back out now to Aiden. And she'll travel up top. Look to make a move on Thompson. Again, you can find that video by going to YouTube and simply searching 1380 KCIM. And then you can pull up the girls broadcast. We'll have the boys broadcast up and running later on. Bell drives down. Dump pass inside. Tip by Ayala. Bell will come up with a good hustle that time by Lauren Bell. But ends up stepping on the baseline. And the turnover gives it back over now into the hands of the Carroll Tigers. Aiden will bring it up. Crosses over against Mayhall. Lost it into the backcourt. They're going to say touched by Mayhall. Aiden comes down, pull up jumper, left side, top of the key. Nice, pretty jump shot that time by the freshman. She's got eight. And the Carroll lead is up back to 20 at 42-22. Going to be a fun next four years with uh, Caitlin Aiden. She's going to be special. Ball now going to be kicked by Josie Ayala as Overmull tries to feed it inside. It'll stay with the Knights. Jeff Story on in the house tonight. Uh, the longtime photographer here in the Carroll area. He's here taking pictures tonight. You'll find them on Viewfinder 22 and on the Carroll Broadcasting Facebook pages coming up later tonight. Jeff, a longtime employee here in Carroll. Now helping out the radio station as Aiden gets the steal and draws a foul on the other end. Almost came up with an acrobatic layup as well. Got a nice smile on her face. She'll head to the line, that foul. Gonna go on Overmall, her third for the Knights. Second here in the half against uh, Kemper. Free throw on the way by Aiden is up in good. Caitlin now two of three at the line tonight. 43-22. In favor of uh, Carroll. Second one by Aiden. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And the lead is at 22 as the Tigers have doubled it up. Now the pass inside. Looking for Glenn over her head and out of bounds. Good defensive pressure by Ayala creating that turnover. And the ball will go back over to the Tigers. 44-22 Carroll again. 5.05 left here third quarter. Sennard will push it ahead. Looks to go inside to Ayala, defended by Glenn. Kick out pass to Shable down to the corner. Extra pass, finds Jorgensen, who lives it off for Ayala. Out to Shable, three on the way left side, up no good. Long rebound taken down by Mayhall. Mayhall stolen away from behind by Sennard. Shea with her third steal, all of them coming up in this half. Jorgensen open, 16-footer off the right side, up no good. Shable, the weak side rebound, tied up by Thompson. And the possession there will favor the Carroll Tigers. 44-22, Carroll. Caitlin Aiden right now leading the Tigers with a 10 here in the game. She's looking to inbound down on the baseline. Looking to get Shable inside. They find Ayala on the left block. Shot up off the glass is good. <laughs> Josie Ayala, a tough shot. She's got 10 here tonight as well. Tigers lead is 24. Mayhall with it. Gets it back to Thompson off the tip pass. And now Ayala jumps the passing lane. And it comes up with the steal. Now it's stolen back by Mayhall, her third. Mayhall dribbles down left side. Got a high dribble, but kept the hand on top of it. Now off to Overmall up top. Thompson, Cora penetrates over on the right side. Tough runner up off the glass. Good, count the basket, and she'll draw the foul. Good, strong move that time by Cora Thompson. Cora, an outstanding athlete, real strong kid. One of those kids that plays really hard all the time. And foul going to go on Cam Shable, her second. Team foul number three on the Tigers here as Ava Gross will come in for Shable. 46-24, Cora Thompson, an 83% free throw shooter 
on the season so far. Free throw on the way. It is up no good. And the rebound taken down that time by Sennard. And now we're going to get a foul in the backcourt. And that is going to go against uh, Cora Thompson. That'll be number three on the 5'6 senior. Thompson also an outstanding soccer player. A lot of these Kemper girls, really good soccer players. And a Jorgensen gets it up across half court. They get it down to Sennard. Tiger girls basketball players, a lot of them are really good track athletes. So all of them competing in the spring. Ava Gross, left side three up, no good. Aiden comes up with a weak side rebound for the Tigers. Gets it off now to Sennard, up top to Gross. Left side again to Jorgensen. Jorgensen picked up out there by Hewton. Now work it now to Sennard. 3.40 left here in the third quarter. Inside to Ayala. Turnaround jumper up and good. Josie Ayala with another bucket. She's got 12. Tigers up by 24 here at 48 to 24. Boys game set to follow here tonight. Hannah Jorgensen trying to cut off Mayhall there. Picks up the foul. Do anticipate Coach Cook and one of the Carroll girls and Coach Tryon and one of the Kemper girls joining me at halftime of the boys game. We'll get a Quick interview with those four, whoever comes up. Mayhall with it. Lob down to the corner over Malls at three. It's a long, the rebound taken down by Ava Gross. Head now to Jor Jorgensen. Jorgensen underneath the basket, kick out pass. Aiden's three on the way, up no good. Sennard up high for the rebound. That is number three for her tonight. Off now to Gross, over to Jorgensen. Pump fake, gets into the lane. Runner up off the rim, no good. Ayala rebound tied up by Thompson. And the possession arrow will favor the Kemper Knights. Casey Peter checking in now for Franny Glenn. Exactly three minutes left here in this third quarter of play. This was a tight one early. Six lead changes early in this game, but that three-point shot by Carroll went up eight to six. They've not looked back since then. Aiden coming up with another steal. I've got her unofficially for five of those here tonight. Jorgensen up top to Aiden. Aiden crosses over, gets it off now to Gross. Down to the left corner to Jorgensen. Jorgensen rings it up on the wing. Kick pass now over to Aiden. Right side top of the key. Down to the right corner to Gross. Inside to Ayala. Shot up off the rim. No good. Rebound tipped in the hands of Thompson. Over to Mayhall for the Knights. 2.25 left. Third quarter. 48-24. Kemper trailing with the basketball. Hewton with a nice cut down the left. Right side. Mayhall with the feed. And Hewton will head to the free throw line as she draws some contact. That is going to be number three on the senior, Hannah Jorgensen. Addison Clucky set to check in for the Tigers. Five team fouls for Carroll here in the half. Hewton will head to the free throw line, a 50% free throw shooter so far this season. She's going to be a good one. Free throw is up and good. A lot of athleticism in that young lady. 48 to 25. Jorgensen Ayala will check out. Clucky and Shable in it for the Tigers. Second free throw for Hewton. Up nothing by the bottom of the net. And we're going to get now Lauren Bell. Going to check into the game up for Hewton. Timeout on the floor. We'll step away with them. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll come back and do that when we come back in 30 seconds right here on 93.7 KKRL. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Forty-eight to twenty-six at Carroll with the lead. Jeff Blackwood with you here tonight, uh, coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes feel, recover, and perform. Carroll leading uh, the Kemper Knights, uh, forty-eight to twenty-six here in the girls' game. Boys' game will follow about fifteen twenty minutes after the end of the girls' game here tonight. We'll have the season opener for both the Carroll Tigers and the Kemper Knights. Both teams are going to be back in action uh, coming up later this week, and we'll have them covered for you. Carroll travels over to Gilbert on Friday night. Nick Brinks going to bring you the broadcast coming up Friday night, and then Kemper hosting Dennis in Slush Week Saturday afternoon. I'll have that broadcast for you. Aiden ahead to Gross, penetrates in, kick pass through the lane, gets it over to Sennard. She'll penetrate in the lane. Runner, it's up in good. 
Sennard with another bucket. Tigers now with 50, lead it here 50 to 26. Mayhall down the right side, a runner off the glass, up in good. Mayhall looking for her own shot a little bit more here as it will late. 50 now to 28. Aiden again going to penetrate down. Tough runner off the left side. No good. Rebound tipped around and corralled up by Casey Peter for Kepper. Off to Mayhall. Mayhall with it. Gets it up across half court. Works it now. Over to Bell. Bell now back off to Mayhall. Penetrates in on the right side. Finds the cutter through the hands of Overmull. Ava Gross tracks it down. Good hustle that time by Peter to not allow her to get a wide open layup. Now Shable in the lane, gonna draw the foul and she'll head to the free throw line for a pair of free throws. Good take and strong take that time by Shable. Casey Peter will pick up the foul. That's gonna be number one on the 5'10 sophomore. So Shable at the line. Has not attempted a free throw yet this season. A good free throw shooter and the first one's up and good. 51 at 228. Second free throw coming up. It is on the way. It is up. It is good as well. That'll make it to 52-28. Carroll. Lauren Bell with it. Defended by Aiden. Aiden reached in, tipped it away. Bell got it back. Now off to Mayhall. Got to get it across half court, and they do. Sennard defending Mayhall. Mayhall looking to get into the lane. They work it off now to Casey Peter. Knocked away by Aiden. It's loose on the floor. And we're going to get a jump ball. Possession error will favor the Carroll Tigers. Good job that time by Caitlin Aiden to force that turnover. Minute five left here in the third quarter. Aiden looking to come across half court. And Mayhall almost got the steal. Aiden was looking over towards the bench real quick. Gross now feeds it over to Sennard on the right side. Bounce pass inside to Clucky. Tipped away by Peter, but back out to Sennard, who was able to track it down before Overmull could get to it. Sennard over to the left side, looking to feed inside for Gross. Nothing there. Now comes up top to Clucky. Over to the right side to Aiden. Baseline jumper. It's up no good. A rebound tipped around and corralled up by Sennard. Number four for Sennard. She'll pull up with a jumper off the left side, top of the key, and knocks down the three. Shea Sennard with her second three here tonight. And the Tigers lead it here, 55 to 28. Mayhall up across half court near the scorer's table. Works it down on the left side. The ball tipped away by Sonard as she tried to dump it inside. Now the pass down to the baseline, tipped out of bounds by Aiden. Audrey Hewton at the scorer's table. She is going to check in now for Cora Thompson. Knights have 17.4 seconds to work with here in this third quarter. Overmost pass inside to Hewton, knocked away and out of bounds that time by Ava Gross. Top of the clock with 16.6 seconds left. Peter again looking to inbound, gets it off to Mayhall. Mayhall again caught off by Sennard, double team that time by Aiden. Now nearly traveled but got it to Hewton and now the pass nearly stolen away by Sennard. That's going to fly out of bounds and it'll stay with the Knights with 8.4 seconds left, 55-28 in favor of Carroll here late in the third quarter. Court Thompson gonna try to check in here real quick. She'll check in for Casey Peter. They get it into Mayhall. Sennard right there with her, penetrates down the right side. Tough runner, it's up. It sits on the rim and falls out. A whistle and a foul gonna go on at Shea Sennard. It's been a fun matchup between those two tonight. Two really quick athletic kids. A foul on Sennard, her second team. Foul number six on Carroll. So Kemper could shoot a lot of free throws in that fourth quarter. Mayhall's free throw is up and good. Mayhall one of two at the line tonight. 55 to 29 in favor of the tank. Second free throw up, good as well. 55 to 30. Aiden brings it up. Runner at the buzzer from three, no good. And we are through three quarters of play. It is the Carroll Tigers leading it here over the Kemper Knights at 55 to 30. We'll step away fourth quarters one minute away here on KKRL. At Carroll County Solid Waste. Timing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial. For more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. 
Wall Lake Lumber with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odebolt, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory trained technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. We head to the fourth quarter here tonight in Carroll. Jeff Blankman with you. Thanks to Tiffany back in our studio monitoring all three of our broadcasts tonight. South Central Calhoun, South Hamilton on kick. Our Weaver Glidden Ralston on at KCIM. And, of course, Carolyn Kemper here on KKRL. Mason Voigt running our video here tonight. The Tigers come up with a steal to start the fourth quarter as Ayala comes up with a loose basketball. Off to Tuning. Now to Jorgensen. Jorgensen rolls it over to the right side to Sennard. Sennard going to penetrate in. Back to Jorgensen down on the left side. Jorgensen now to Tuning. Jumper from just behind the free throw line up in good for Maddie Tuning, her first bucket here tonight. And the Tigers extend the lead to 27 at 57 to 30. Thompson up across half court. Thompson over to the left side. Tries to drive in, dump pass inside for Bell. Tip stolen away. Ayala comes up with a loose ball. Now off to Sennard. She'll run it up left side. Cut off by Overmull. Now to Tuning. Let it go inside to Ayala. Turn around jumper in the lane up in good. Josie Ayala knocks down another one, and it's a 59 to 30. Mayhall with it. Rolls down the left side. A runner off the left baseline. No good. Weak side. A rebound to Sennard. She's got five of those. Bounce pass now over to Aiden. Layup is up and good. Great bounce pass that time from Shea Sennard to the freshman, Caitlin Aiden. Carroll up here now, 61 at 230. Catherine Mayhall gets it up across half court. Penetrates it down, gets it over to Overmull. Overmull drives in, her runner, it is up in good. Nice tough shot by the freshman Carson Overmull, her first bucket here tonight. 61-32 now in favor of Carroll. Our Motor End player of the game coming up following the ball game. Motor End of Carroll, Mayhall jumps the passing lane, comes up with her four steal. Jorgensen back defensively, forces her to pump fake, but Mayhall able to slip underneath her and lay it up and in. And it's 61 to 34. Aiden over to Tuning, Tuning down the right side, just inside the right elbow, pull up jumper for Maddie up in good. 63-34 now in favor of the Tigers. Pass comes inside, tip stolen away. Sennard, another steal. Ahead to Ayala, Mayhall hustles back and tips that one out of bounds. Hewton, Peter, and Derrickson will check in at four. Kemper, Overmull, Bell, and Thompson will check out for the night. 5.39 left here in this. Ball game, Peter tips the pass. It's going to be out of bounds. The last touch to buy Casey Peter. It'll stay with the Tigers. That one right over here near the end of the Kemper bench. And Caitlin Aiden will inbound it with Mayhall applying some pressure. I'll get it into Ayala on the block. Kick pass out to Jorgensen. Jorgensen now off to Sennard. Sennard penetrates in. Pass outside to Aiden. Was tipped by Mayhall, but gathered in by Aiden. Now the bounce pass inside to Tuning. Tuning double teamed to the ball. Knocked into the hands of Mayhall. Ayala was on the block. Tuning cut right down the middle of the lane, kind of right to where Ayala was. So there was actually two defenders that surrounded Tuning the moment she caught that pass. She tried to kind of power through him, but was unable to do so. Had it knocked away. Now the ball tipped out of bounds by Carroll on the other end. Kemper will inbound on the baseline with Derrickson. Derrickson lobs it into Glenn, but it's going to be stolen away by Caitlin Aiden. Aiden, long pass down, and Jorgensen has it slipped through the fingertips on the dribble. It'll be out of bounds to the Kemper Knights. 63-34 in favor of Carroll. Pressure again by the Tigers. Mayhall, long pass down. Casey Peter open on the right block, drives in. Ayala gets back to block the shot, but Hewton there to gather in the offensive rebound and put back. 63-36 now, Carroll. 
Here's steal by Mayhall. Aiden to the free throw line. Pull up jumper, no good. Derrickson comes down with a rebound for Kemper. Off now to Mayhall. Long pass down to Peter off her fingertips and into the Kemper cheerleaders. It'll be out of bounds, and the ball will belong to the Carroll Tigers. Clucky, Shable, Gross in. Ayala, Jorgensen, Aiden will check out for Carroll. Shable gets it in now to Jorgensen. Jorgensen up across half court. Works it over to Gross on the right side. Now off to Shable. Shable penetrates down on the left side. Gets it off into the hands of Sennard. Back off to Shable. Shable on the right wing. Pass up top. Tip that time by Peter, but tracked down by Gross. Now work it back over now to Clocky. Turn around at runner up. No good. And the rebound taken down by Franny Glenn. Six unofficial rebounds for Glenn here tonight. Catherine Mayhall brings it up, stops and pops from the top of the key, up and good. Rainbow three up and good for Catherine Mayhall. 63-39. Maddie Tuning drives in, gets it off to Sennard, now off it to Clucky. Clucky with it just inside the top of the key, going to fire up the jumper. That one off the back of the rim, up for the rebound. Clucky nearly pulled it away that time from Glenn, but Glenn comes down with her seventh. Off to Mayhall, ahead to Derrickson. Derrickson stepped through move, shot up no good. Shable will clear it for Carroll. Shable unofficially with it, six rebounds. Tuning with it now off to Shable. Three up and good for Cameron. Cameron Shable with her second three tonight. She's got 10 points here on the night. The Tigers back up by 27 at 66-39. Mayhall penetrates in. Her runner is up and good off the left side. Mayhall coming alive here in this fourth quarter. 66-41, just under 3.05 left here in this fourth quarter. Mackie Motors postgame show coming up following the game. Tuning drives in, a whistle and a foul. Going to go on Glenn. That'll be number three on Franny. Maddie Tuning will head to the free throw line. Has not attempted one yet tonight, but has not missed at the free throw line this season. Free throw on the way. It is up and good. Sixty-seven forty-one in favor of Carroll. Second one on the way. This one up no good. And the rebound taken down by Casey Peter. Peter unofficially with eight boards here tonight. Mayhall gets it underneath. Now to Bell. Turnaround jumper. Nice move to get into the lane. Shot up no good. Shable clears her seventh rebound unofficially. Tuning will bring it up. Maddie takes it over right side. Bounce pass inside to Clucky. Layup up no good. Got her own rebound. Put back no good. And the rebound taken down by Cora Thompson. Thompson kick pass left side, Hewton. Hewton drives in, runner off the left side, up no good. Rebound tipped and a whistle and a foul going to go on Lauren Bell. That'll be number two on Bell. Team foul number five against Kemper here in the half, so the Tigers will inbound. Overmall checking in now for Hewton for the Kemper Knights. Motor and player of the game coming up following the bar broadcast here tonight. Motor and of care. Catherine Mayhall with the steal on it. Tuning. Now spins to the basket. Lost it out of bounds. Going to be said last touch to my tuning. And it will stay with the Knights. Timeout going to be called by Katie Cook and the Carroll Tigers. We'll step away with them. We're going to come back. We'll do that. Let's do that in one minute. One minute timeout coming up for you right here on at 93.7 at KKRL. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is Jayco Building Products Headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. 
Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. Coming to you live from the Gatorade Broadcast Booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. And, of course, that's Pepsi, Pepsi Beverages right here in Carroll. Jeff Blankman with you tonight. Tiffany back in our studio. Mason Voigt running our video broadcast tonight on our KCIM YouTube page. Go to YouTube and search 1380 KCIM to find our live video with our audio on it. And again, that is powered by New Way Forward in Coon Rapids. Tigers leading the night 67-41 late here in the fourth quarter. Corey Thompson drives in, draws a foul on Maddie Tuning. That'll be number four on Tuning. And that is going to put Corey Thompson at the line. Thompson 0 for 1 at the line tonight. Again, an 83% free throw shooter on the season. And the free throw on the way. It is up and good. Thompson with six now here tonight. Credit this Kemper team. They got down early, but continued to battle here in the fourth quarter when Carroll looked like they were going to maybe run away and make this a continuous clock game. The Knights have battled back. They're down now 24. It had gotten up to 31, so they've cut seven points off of it since late in the third quarter. Sennard with it over to Clucky just above the left elbow. Out top now to Gross, back over to Clucky. Clucky. Drives down, kicks it out on the left elbow to Shable. Shable into the lane, runner off the right side, up no good. Rebound tipped around, it's battled for, still loose, and Ava Gross going to track it down for the Tigers. Her fourth, now the jumper is up and good for the Tigers. Maddie Tuning's got seven here on the night. Tigers extend it now to 69-43. Mayhall penetrates in, runner up no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, and it is going to be last touched by the Knights. I should say last touch by Shable. It'll be Knights basketball. Thompson inbound. Lob pass into the middle of the lane. Lauren Bell's jumper up no good. Great block out that time by Clucky. Shable comes up with a rebound. Tuning with it ahead now to Shable. Shable gets it across half court. Tuning penetrates in, down to Clucky on the block. Back out to Tuning right side. Three on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound tipped out into the hands of Tuning. Tuning drives in the lane, runner up, no good. Got her own rebound and put it back up and in. Good ball game here tonight for Maddie Tuning. And the Tigers back up 71 to 43. Bay Hall with it, gets it off now. Into the hands of Overmull. Overmull defended by Gross. Over to the left side to Thompson. Thompson drives in, her runner up no good, a rebound taken down by Sennard. Sennard has it knocked away, Thompson looking to come up with it, but Sennard gets it, now gets it ahead to Shable, off to Gross. Gross holds it on the right wing, back off to Shable, underneath the tuning, turnaround jumper up and good. Shable will pick up the assist, tuning with a bucket. And we're gonna get Hewton and Derrickson into the game real quick up for Kemper. Lead is back to 30. Largest lead again was at 31 at 61 at 230. Corey Thompson with it now off to Mayhaw. 20 seconds left in this one. Mackey Motors postgame show coming up following the ball game. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Newton driving in the lane. Runner in the lane. In and out no good. Clucky comes up with a rebound for the Tigers. They'll get it off to Tuning. Six seconds left in this one. Tuning with it. Rolls over to the right side. Shot blocked that time by Mayhall, and that is going to be the end of the ballgame. Carroll Tigers will move to 2-0 on the season. Kemper will fall to 0-2. Carroll going to win this one here tonight by a final of 73-43. We'll step away, take a break. We've got the Mackey Motors postgame show. That's coming up for you next right here on 93.7 KKRL. Midwest Wholesale is your local building products headquarters. We have everything you need for your smaller home improvements to the building of your home or commercial building. We pride ourselves on giving you top-notch service, quality products with competitive prices. So whether you're a do-it-yourselfer, a contractor, or you just need a little help on a project, 
Midwest Wholesale is a one-stop resource for all your building needs. Midwest Wholesale, how you want it, when you want it, where you want it, we deliver. At The Present Company, we will help you transition your home and wardrobe with the changing seasons. Hi, this is Andrea. Whether you're looking to get warm and toasty this winter or it's time for a light and airy lift this spring, shop our collection of boutique style clothing, gorgeous accessories and purses. Add personal style to your home with unique home decor pieces that will warm your rooms from wall to wall. Infuse your home and your wardrobe with style from the present company in Audubon. St. Anthony Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. This is Iowa, and Avela Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avela Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avela Bank, member FDIC. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors 920 Roof Pro. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. The door to rewarding career opportunities is closer than you think. All you have to do is open it. DMAX Carroll Campus is your gateway to in-demand rewarding. Knock off the Kemper Knights 73 to 43. Uh, Knights defensively or Tigers, excuse me, defensively here tonight really sharpen this game creating uh, a lot of uh, turnovers. I had them unofficially for 17 steals here tonight. Uh, Kemper did finish up the game uh, with nine steals. So you, you take that eight extra just steals. That's not just turnovers. That's just steals. You take that extra eight steals in the game. They probably turn that into an extra 14 points or 12 points. Uh, so a 